Hello friends, welcome to my channel again. I am Vijay Lohar here with the second chapter of implementing point-to-point -point protocol in our Cisco Routers WAN interface. In our previous video, we have discussed about encapsulation method and HDLC is the default enabled encapsulation technique used by Cisco router, but uh, HDLC is a Cisco proprietary protocol, so it can be applicable only with Cisco router. And further, we have discussed about point-to-point -point protocol, which is uh, open standard protocol, which can be applied with some other vendor router too, as PPP supports user authentication and it uses PAP and CHAP as the user authentication protocol. In our previous video, we saw how we can apply PPP with PAP user authentication and in this session, we will see how we can enable our point-to-point -point protocol with CHAP user authentication. So let us proceed with the practical here. As you can see here, I am using same lab setup. We have ISP router, we have our internal router, we have some IP address for the interface. So first of all, I am going to configure ISP, so ISP router, enable, configure terminal and I am going to set host name first as router1. I am going to configure serial interface 0 by 0 and IP address for serial interface will be from this network IP address 10.0.0.1255.0.0.0 no shut as this is our DC device we are assuming that this is our DC device so I am going to set clock rate for the interface that's it exit and now I am going to configure fast ethernet 0 by 0 with the IP address as we have given here address will be 192.168.0.1 with the mask 255.255.255.0 no shut so we have configured our interface we have set our host name now I am going to configure second router with the same configuration like I am setting host name as R2 interface serial 0 by 0 and the IP address for serial interface will be 10.0.0.2255.0.0.2 no shut we don't need to assign clock rate here as we are the duty device or we are the client device of ISP server so I am going to configure fast ethernet interface fast ethernet 0 by 0 and the IP address must be from 172.16.0.0 network so what will be the IP address I am going to assign IP address as 172.16.0.1 with the mask 255.255.0.0 no shut exit and exit so we have configured our IP address with both router and what next we have to do here is we must enable some routing method so I am going to set RIP for routing, router RIP version 2, I am configuring router 1 with the RIP version 2 and network will be 10.0.0.0 and 192.168.0.0.2 and now enable your router with router 2 with RIP protocol so configure terminal router RIP version 2 and the network will be 10.0.0.0 and 172.16.0.0 so your network is ready now you can verify it by pinging your device like I am pinging the host connected with the network we must get reply here yes we are getting reply and let's verify which encapsulation technology we are using right now so we used command so interface serial 0 by 0 here is the default encapsulation method that that is HDLC so what we have to do here is we'll have to change this encapsulation method to PAP and further we will apply CHAP as user authentication. So what we have to do here is 
I am going to configure terminal and first of all I will create a username with R2 that is the name of next router and the password for the second router will be Cisco okay interface now I am going to configure serial interface for changing encapsulation method interface serial 0 by 0 and I am changing encapsulation method to PPP point to point protocol and as I applied PPP as encapsulation method our interface goes down and now what I have to do here is PPP will use authentication method as chap that's it exit and I have to do same thing with the second router and pick a terminal interface serial 0 by 0 before that we need to create username r1 and the password will be cisco and this information is going to be exchanged by chap okay so i'll access serial 0 by 0 and i'll enable encapsulation method as ppp and PPP will use authentication technology as chap that's it done now you can verify your encapsulation by using command so interface serial 0 by 0 and we can see here that our encapsulation method is chap now and we are getting reply from other end you can verify your chap information using some other command too you can enable your debug for pap like debug ppp and you can verify this option is authentication you can verify the authentication you can negotiation you can verify negotiation and you can verify packet like whenever your computer going to communicate with each other your log will be here so that you can verify uh, what kind of frame is exchanging between the router so that's it this is very easy to implement chat protocol with point to point protocol and i hope you like this video if so please do share with your friend and subscribe to our channel for the further topic till next video bye bye